So hello, I'm Jaroslav Stehlík, the creator of SVG Importer, and today we will learn how to use the anti-aliasing function. So I have their Unity a version 5.6.1. It should work on the latest Unity, which is 2017. And as you can see, I have there the example project which is called Infinity Scene Demo, which is part of the plugin as well. And now we will see how you can turn on anti-aliasing uh, with SVG Importer. So there are two types of anti-aliasing. The first one is the native, which is in Unity. So you can basically click Edit, uh, project settings, quality, and there you have the anti-aliasing, and now you can turn it to four times or even more. But this option is quite good if you want to be sure that the overhead of your anti-aliasing will be always the same. That means that it's not dependent on the uh, quality, uh, it's not dependent on the amount of geometry inside of, of your project, but it's dependent on the resolution of your screen. So this is a screens like screen dependent uh, effect. Yeah. And uh, when we disable it, we have also the other option for anti-aliasing and that's basically the feature of the SVG importer. So if you look at the asset of the SVG importer, uh, you can see there is a option called anti-aliasing. And when you turn it on and hit apply, you can see that we have also quite nice anti-aliasing going on. Yeah, and when we zoom in, it's staying quite nice and also it works in perspective. So even in VR and also orthographic. And when we uh, hit play, you can see that the anti-aliasing is uh, adjusting by the screen resolution and the perspective or orthographic size of the camera and so on. So it should be always perfect. So what's the difference between this anti-aliasing and the native anti-aliasing? It is that it's uh, not screen resolution dependent. That means that it, in some cases, it can run faster than the native anti-aliasing by Unity. But in some cases, when the graphics is too complicated, it can be slower than than the native uh, anti-aliasing provided by Unity. So. How does it work? You can see it or debug it how if it works correctly when you click window, SVG importer, settings, and there is the settings of the width of the anti-aliasing and you can change it. And this will change the width of the anti-aliasing, as you can see. So what it is actually doing is that it's creating uh, triangle strips around every shape. That means that it is uh, more, it's adding geometry, but in the favor of uh, smoothing edges, yeah? So now we knew that it's working. And I think this is uh, basically everything for anti-aliasing. 
So uh, I hope that you like this little tutorial and you can lo learn more about SVG importer on uh, the SVG importer channel. So see ya.